running is really a microcosm of a larger society. So even though it should be all welcoming and inclusive, it's not. This year I'm running the Boston Marathon, um, first time ever. Three, two, one. Boston was something that I never expected to run. I didn't think of it as a welcoming space. Next, Russian twist. Oh, that's fine. Really. When you see like the banners all over that's the city, there. they're only in specific parts of the city. You don't see them in communities, let's say, of Roxbury or Mattapan. And when you see it on TV or advertise, it always is the Africans and the white runners. So then me, as an African-American, why should I care? Why should I be involved? Because my face, my name, my voice has not been a part of it. My path to running started in 2011. I lost my mother because of cancer. And so I was grieving. And a friend of mine asked me if I wanted to run the Harpoon Five Miler in South Boston. I said, sure, I'll do it, not knowing what the yes would mean. The gun went off and I panicked and ran. But in that moment of running, I felt a little lighter. I had been numb for so long and running this race, I actually felt something. So I started to run in my neighborhood and it was healing for me. And then as I was running, I realized I didn't see any other black person running. Like I was the only person who looked like me running and I knew that couldn't be the case. I knew there were other black women who ran, I just didn't know where they are. And the magazines and the media, there's this, this idea of a woman's runner's body, of how she'd be probably tall, thin, white. You don't see like, I have curves, I have an afro, I have dreads and I run. I've learned that there is this sub-community of black women who do run, who are invisible in this space. And my goal was to make us visible. So again, challenge the power structure because they're educators. I'm a sociology professor at Selma State University. Inequality, that what we've been talking about, sociological imagination. So the academic in me was looking up like literature on black women running, and I found hardly anything. And so I thought, well, if I'm not finding any answers, then I need to do the research to find out. What are the experiences of black women who run? Why do black women run? How is that in relationship to running being such a white space? I would run more, and I actually did meet black women. And so that started me with this brilliant idea of running a half marathon in every state to collect data and information. I started this journey in 2015. 2022 will be the final two states on the continent, U.S., and then 2023 will be uh, Hawaii. They all like just remind me of where I started and uh, how far I have to go. Progress is slow, but progress is happening. It shouldn't be a, just for the moment. It's like, how are we gonna integrate in this into the fabric of us for the long haul, forever? Running the Boston Marathon, I feel like this will be my, my I feel welcome and kind of belonging in the space. So it took some time, but when people ask me, you know, have you run the Boston Marathon? I'll be very proud to say, yes, I have, I did it. Thank you.